Well, after an absolutely crazy night that none of us could explain, it was time to get back to my crime board and try and put all these pieces of the puzzle together. I mean, how could he be taking pictures of us wherever we were? Wherever we went, he knew all our movements. But we could never see him. Couldn't understand it. But anyway, we had some stuff on him that he didn't know. I mean, evidence. Like a toothbrush. And a, um... Toothbrush, that's right. Yeah, we had him. He was probably missing that as I was speaking now, which made me happy inside. But Mr. Robinson keeps banging on about how he's got DNA, whatever that is, and fingerprints, and some skin samples. Uh, I can't see any of that being any good to the case. But still, it was up to me to piece this together, and get the guys back on track, and formulate a plan. <laughs> Okay, so has Lee uh, told you anything at all about this uh, this phase, these two phases of this plan? No, no idea. Okay, so there's two phases. There's phase A and phase B. A is uh, we're going to break into Humane Labs. Now, I was... Uh, oh, so you weren't telling the truth, so that's why you're dressed like a retard, right? Yeah, he, he yeah. doesn't have enough room in his closet to, to store it, so he's just aware it everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was a chemistry teacher, as I don't know if you know, but I've told people before. Um, about ten years ago, we came here on a field trip uh, to, to Los Santos, and we went to Humane Labs. And uh, they showed us the, the circuits for a bunch of uh, random crap, but most importantly, they showed us the circuits for the security system. This was because, uh, you know, the, most of the tour in Humane Labs is chemistry-based, but I had to get the school to pay for it, so it had to be a, a circuit-based, because that's what we were studying at the time. So they kind of just farcically showed us all these circuits like so whimsically that they didn't even notice what they were showing me. They showed me the breaker box for the, the, the cameras. So I'm pretty sure, I mean it has been 10 years, but I'm pretty sure that not that much would have changed, especially seeing as they cut the funding back when that raid happened. So I think we can uh, sneak in there and bloody use that lab equipment before anyone realizes and get right out of there. All right, all right, sure. So that's that's phase one. That's where we get the uh, the biological information. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, that's that's the easy part. And let me tell you, that was the easiest part. The hardest part was sitting around in this monkey suit, waiting for darkness. I nearly died. Well, that's how I've lived my last 20 years, you know, on the breadline, solving cases, doing it for the people. Well, okay, technically. Not solving all of them, only a few. Well, that may even be a lie. None. My life is awful. I hate my life. And suddenly I've come here and people have shown an interest in me and they like me and want to be with me. And whereas back in London, everybody hates me. I'm a loner. Living, I don't live in a penthouse, I live in my mum's flat in London. It's sad. No one's listening to me now, even in my tale of woe. Oh, no, man. I'm just letting you talk. I'm a good listener. That's good, because I'm, well, I'm thinking about just just leaving and just, well, just going. Just not going back to London, but just going somewhere, but anywhere and being something else. Maybe a bin man or road sweeper or, I don't know, anything else but this. I've had enough, I've demoralised, I'm, I'm hot and bothered and sweaty and my boots are full of sweat and what has my life come to? Oh no. Jesus Christ. At least you like me, Mr. Robinson. Hmm. Oh yeah. I don't know why everyone gives you such a hard time, mate. You've been good to me. You've given me an office and a place to stay. Even the Scarecrow was almost nice to me when he complimented me on being a shitty Batman and he wanted to be my Joker. I thought we could have had a Marvel thing going on. <laughs> right. And everyone's intent on burning him because he's made a straw. God, I don't... Do you think he's actually made a straw, though? Well, he's a Scarecrow. When they do, what am I going to do without my nemesis? That's a good point. That's a good point. Well, I mean, this city's probably never going to be devoid of criminals. 
you say there, there might be a place in your heart for me. In your... Uh, sure. At the end of your table. We could be like... Like the Knights of the Round Table. What the... Right. Should I go get some meds? A tranquilizer, maybe? No, I think I think I think it's heat exhaustion. It might be. I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded and a little bit woozy. Might be saying things out loud that I don't want anyone to know. I swear to God, you're not allowed to fucking lose your shit now. Be too close for this shit. I'm gonna have to take my mask off before I pass out. That's better. That's so much better. Oh. oh, I was losing it for a bit there, Mr. Robinson. Yeah, I could, I could maybe tell. Um, are those guys here? Because I wanted to tell them the plan before we did it, but they're not here, right? Did I pass out for a while? I don't, don't remember anything. Okay, you get up there on the mountain. It's getting dark. I think we're ready to go. Um, pick two mountains that are right on. Uh, what's it called? What's this road called? Chai to... Chiansky Passage. That's the main road, the really long one that leads to Humane. You yeah. want to be looking right at to, as the way you turn onto that. Because as soon as you see the corpse, you need to let us know. We need to get out of there. All right, so we want to be right where this road starts, basically. Yeah, right where the road comes down, because it's a one-in, one-out kind of road, so... Yeah, right. and then if, if cops come, where are we going to go? We'll have to figure that out, we'll have to go there. We're going to we, have to hide or something. If something, we could probably run distraction, something. Shoot off a couple of rounds, get you, buy you guys some time to get out of there, probably. Okay, uh, okay, that sounds dangerous, though. Who's that headbanging? Yeah, man. Flex your yeah, X muscle. Uh, Whoa, well, yeah, that was right. He's, he's going a bit loopy, because... Uh... Uh, he heat from the mask, I think. No, so I had the air stuck in the mask then. I was just adjusting it. Don't worry about it. I told you you could do do with a fucking nostril hair trim. Was it my nostrils? Was it my eyebrows? Well, those as well. You're a hairy bastard. Well, that's why I try not to take my clothes off. I do look a bit like a gorilla when I'm naked. Oh, I thought you, thought you looked more Jesus. like a hairy little beanbag. Yeah. Possibly. Mountain goat. Yeah. Well, anyway, you guys get in position. If you get into any trouble or, you know, get arrested or something, take a phone call to Matt or something to get help to get out. Well, we'll be able to... You know. Maybe... Okay, don't... Try not to shoot, all right? I think if you just let us know, we'll be able to get out of there before anything can happen. Because right. if all they right. shoot, then they'll call him back up and you, we don't want anyone getting well, yeah. arrested. Now with darkness approaching, it was time to spring into action and break into humane labs for Mr. Robinson to do his thing. Alright, look at this shit. Okay. Oh, now we're talking. Alrighty ho, let's, let's get all this on the table. Excellent. Alright. So what I've got here, we got a joint, we got this toothbrush, we got these uh, this condom here, and now we have this tape, and on the tape we have uh, fingerprints, and we have skin cells, and then there's this glass here with uh, with that uh, little uh, bit of skin around the, the, do you the rim. The, do you not give him the bullets? Oh yeah, the uh, 7.62 round as well, we've got a little the, baggie. The, the used one and the unused one, and we also yeah. have... Oh crap, did well you, I... Did you take a picture of that fucking rifle? Oh. Yeah, I've got lots of pictures taken. I've got yeah. lots of pictures, yeah. Well, I don't know about any gun... gun shit, boys. I'm, I'm just a bloody chemist over here. I'm not a bloody, uh... Yeah. No bloody gunsmith. I don't know what to do with that. Test the bloody gunpowder in the unused one up against the used one. To get what? See if it's... the same. Oh shit. But when it's one's so unused, so oh, so test so the inside on, on the yeah, take, take the bloody powder out. Just well, how about... Out, cause, cause they're not normal bullets, you don't see them everywhere. If I give you the, the bullets, you you dismantle that one, get the gunpowder, and don't cross-contaminate. Yeah, yeah. And you do that, and I'm gonna... Most of this, it's all DNA evidence. It's all basically the same thing when it boils down to it. So I'm gonna use the skin cells, because that's probably the best. We have a hair here, but I don't think the follicles attached, and there's no DNA in the hair strand itself. Yeah, don't but, me. Perfect. 
Don't mind me, I'm just supervising to make sure you're doing it all correct. Mmm, hydrochloric acid. Don't, what? don't touch that. Why? Is it dangerous? Yeah, no, usually down it or something. Okay, yeah. I was thinking about taking it, I thought it was alcohol. No, it's definitely not. Okay, now I've got the remaining ones. We just uh, put them on a nice little sheet. I have to do that under the microscope, it's pretty delicate. Okay, now this, this is what the police use. It's the standard little thing. We place this into the uh, the database next to the rest. We can compare it and contrast it. There'll only be one that matches up perfectly with it, and that'll be the man who's the scarecrow. That's his DNA sequenced up. Got him. Fantastic. Nice. Have you got anywhere with that, uh, that gunpowder? Yeah, I put it over there on the bench. Right, we'll, just, we'll pick this up, and we'll, what all we want to do is we just want to compare the, the chemical composition. We'll probably... we could distill it, or we could just have an eye for detail and look at it under the microscope. See see if it's, it's similar in composition, but that's not too accurate. We can distill it down. Okay, so now we've got uh, separate piles for... Bullet A, bullet B. Uh, we got the, the base composition. We got some nitrates in there. We got some uh, some carbon. We've got some sulfur. Now, what we want to do is we want to weigh the two separate samples for for each. So we'll have two lots of uh, carbon, two lots of sulfur, two lots of nitrates. Now we want to weigh them and see if they're the same weight and if they are, then it's the same composition. Excellent. We, so we need a set of scales. Yeah, an atomic scale. Uh, I've got some in my bathroom at home. No, no. We need ones a bit more accurate than that. Oh, okay. This is all very uh, interesting. Honestly, I think we're all this have a bunch under the table. I wonder if I weigh myself to see how much weight I've lost because of something in this suit. I think. I don't. This isn't to be offensive or anything, but I think. These are meant for a lot finer weights. I think you'll probably just break it instantly. Uh, probably not a good idea. Yeah. Oh. Well, the best part of me is in my boots at the minute. I'll sway it out. The last weight you've done probably just said get the fuck off anyway. Well, that's not very nice. Alright, let's see. No, not for the weights, you're right. So A is 57.2627 and B is 57.26. It's teetering between 6 and 7, but I'm willing to, to say that's the same. Is that a match? It looks like a match. Excellent. Same composition, same atomic weights. So that's the, that's the weapon and the bullets that... Shit. Well, there you go. Well, let's go. Alright. Alright, now, do, does, can this take us anywhere? I don't know. Now, before they, they... This took us up back to the surface, but I feel like... I can't get it to work, right? Doesn't, doesn't seem too good. Must be broken down. Probably budget cuts again. Oh god, bloody this! This place isn't what it used to be. You know, all this technology is just, uh, you know, around from the nineties. It was old even when I saw it. But you know, it's better than better than the meth labs people work in nowadays. It looks like a meth lab. A high tech one. It's all this scary shit around here, look at it. Hey, wait, 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 wait! What? Don't go at that end up. We need to... We've been dealing with all sorts of shit. We're gonna have fragments of it. We're gonna have gunpowder on us for one. We wanna decontaminate here. Just clean up. 
Because, you know, if the police tested us for gunshot residue right now, it'd come back positive. We could get arrested for some shit. Oh, right. What a lake room. You're right, it's like. Remember to, remember to watch your phones as well, guys. You know, you know, when you were going to a pub and you stand at a urinal and there's only that one that's in the middle empty. You Apparently, know. they can have sirens up on the mountain, so we need to move. What? Shit, go. Shit. Shit, shit, I'm panicking. This, it's a double door, is it this double door? Yes. Go, 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 go. Dead. As soon as we get out, pick a bush or something and hide. Don't worry about it. Any updates? How close are uh, it? Oh, it's okay. They're going towards Grapeseed now. Oh, fuck. Must be chasing someone. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, I didn't need that. Yeah, jeez, man. Oh, my God. Alright. Slowly. Wait, 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 wait. Run, run. They're coming. Sherry? Sherry. Oh. You guys hide. Three times with an AR, but let's get you down there. One time you're being placed on this for a, as a matter of an early odd time, it's one. After Frank had bravely sacrificed himself for the cause, I waited around till darkness and for the heat to die down. But no one mentioned there'd be dogs. Good doggy. There's a good doggy. You can't see me. Like the wind, I'm a tree, now I'm a bush, totally invisible. There's a good doggy. Them rock volleys running around. Yeah, there's guard dogs. There's guard dogs. We need to grab a car from here. Well, I haven't got the freaking lockpick, man. You'll, you'll get attacked by dogs. Right. I I'm tell gonna, you what. I'm right, gravy. I'm gonna make my way out of here. I'll just keep running that road and um. No, Joe. Joe, go and get. Sorry. No, freaking. Right, Lee. Sorry, Lee. Right, get in there. Get in that. Get in that. I'm gonna go fucking uh, nab a vehicle. You run. You get no, in there. Careful. Them dogs are vicious. I'm fine. I can look after myself. Sorry, officer. Um, Please put your sorry. hands up. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Appreciate it. Oh! Let's go! Right, so let's go! We got him! We got him. Let's go. Let me see the fucking hands now. Hands now, fucking now. We can single out the scarecrow. Exactly. That's what, that, that's what I've been saying since the beginning. What are you talking about? Yeah. 
That's exactly what I've been saying. That's why I gave you the DNA sequence. I said compare it to all the sequences on the data. Frank, you're with me, right? That's what I've been saying um, since the beginning. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh my god. That's what?